Hey, what's up, guys? So, guess a little padding material while we wait to pull the engine out. I'm probably going to be doing it this weekend. Uh, I guess we can do a video inventory and showcase of my uh, Snap-on KRSC 430. It is a sliding top. And this is what I work out of every day. That's my big old tool, tool storage. With, uh, my stuff, yeah, and I just started adding stickers onto this one. But, so for the top, it's really just magnet tray storage, and storage and papers, and I put all shit up here. On the side, we have my little Harbor Freight magnet from my old service cart. I keep my uh, skirt, I got my Hex drive adapters, I got a magnetizer, uh, some Loctite blue, because you need that. Pens, fire chalk, cutters, a knife I found in my fucking, tr in my glove box. It doesn't belong to any of my friends, I don't know where the fuck it came from. Uh, we got our brick caliber lube. Uh, I actually use uh, some black, uh, black caliper grease for pins, but this is for the shims and uh, any contact surfaces. Some FACs when I do spark plugs and if I encounter a really rusty hub, hub bearing or hub face. This used to be my socket storage and I decided to put my power tools up here and the batteries. Uh, this is broken this should be up here and of course I got my uh, bearing packer sorry about that there's a train that goes by my work and it doesn't give a shit if you're making a video or not but I'm not, re not going to re-record that so fuck it so for hearing protection I have some 3M Protac uh, Pro 500s so I can use them with Bluetooth, listen to some tunes, and protect my hearing. They have talk through, so even while I'm wearing them and I'm not listening to music, you can have a conversation with me. This is the best fucking thing I've ever bought. It's a bearing packer. You unscrew this, put your bearing down, and then you push it down, squirts up through the middle, and you spend like five minutes packing a bearing instead of the 15 or so it takes to pack it because yeah gloves for when stuff gets hot nice thin examination gloves here's some harbor freight nine mil thick gloves but this is a 50 pack and this is a hundred pack i like these but you can see how it slices this one and of course some extra rags and Harbor Freight pry bars you need to replace because they're kind of shit. Top drawer is clearly our socket drawer. Do not own deep deep sockets in half inch. I need to. Uh, my three eighths are all Maco from goes from 19 to 7. I need to get me some sixes and some 20s from 1 to 22s. But got my universal socket. Quarter inch, top is Harbor Freight, bottom is Macco. I love my Macco ones. My dealer got me because I asked him, I'm like, is that a full set from four to 15? He's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, oh, I can fill out my, my little uh, socket under there. Oh, and these uh, trays are whistling machine shop trays. Yeah. And here we got our uh, Torques, Allen's, Macro ABV set. It was on sale, so I couldn't say no. Uh, Pittsburgh lug nut, protective lug nut sockets. I like these. I really like these. I haven't broken one. I haven't need to hammer one on. I like them. Uh, for if I deal with a stripped out one, I have my Astro extractors 17, 19, 21, and 22. So, haven't needed them. You can tell they're clean. They've been touched. My little Astro 
on it, stubby with a uh, soil attachment because you need that. These are some lug, uh, lug stud holder pins that I bought and this one is a bolt that my boss cut off so I stole it, rounded off the edge and made a third because I only have two. Of course, my baby, my 3 8 digital tech angle, my half inch digital tech angle, and my half inch breaker bar. And my little husky 3 8 with a uh, oil cloth. Oh, I forgot to go through what's on the top. So, this is why I bought this box. It has a little sliding drawer. Macro ratchets, uh, oh, quarter inch, little quarter inch uh, torque wrench for if uh, so I have something I, too low for my digital. Half inch extensions, BMW spark plug, generic spark plug from fucking Ozone, which has been a champ. Uh, quarter inch ratchets. Quarter, quarter extensions, three inch extensions. Basically, it's where all my extensions badges go. And this one, you don't really do much. I have a mirror and a mic. Used to have some of my electrical bag equipment, but I moved it. Uh, second drawer is just fucking pliers, strippers, more pliers, hooks. Variety of hose clamp and body pin and diagonal cutters and drum spring tools and cute relay pullers and here's a ball joint separator I bought from fucking Herber Freight. Uh, Milwaukee impact screwdrivers. This is a JIS number three. I got a JIS number two and number one on the way. Or I think that's the JIS, JIS number one. And uh variety of picks, here's a B-series timing lock, uh, lots of picks and little little seal pry bars, uh, body trim pry bars, I gotta find where my snap-on went, had another one. Drawer number three, we got SAE metric, a lot of these are, we got Husky, Snap on, all oh, these are hand me downs. Uh, this is mostly Pittsburgh and Husky. I haven't needed anything else. This is kind of like an air drawer and hammer drawer. Got my, my hammers, a framing hammer, you never know. This is from when I was a low voltage guy. Uh, got a little row lock disc for cleaning uh, mating surfaces. A little plastic disc. Uh, we got our air chuck, air nozzle, nothing really much in there. Here we have our uh, front wheel axle sockets. I like them. They're, they're Harbor Freight, but I like them. Uh, my cheap fucking compression tester I bought to compression test the TSX before I bought it. Got a uh, Lyle impact screwdriver, and then... Uh, some extractor sockets. And the rest of this is just electrical diag. I got my Power Probe ECT, my Power Probe 4, my multimeter. This is a parasitic drain tester. It plugs into a multimeter so you can uh, switch it over to amperage mode and you just clip it on. You don't have to deal fucking around with clipping to regular multimeter leads. And there are accessories for like, cords and back probers. And, Stuff like that. And in here, not really much. OB2 memory saver and a uh, no spill funnel kit for filling up uh, coolant. So, yeah. That's my uh, snap on roll cart. And oh, can't forget our, our back. We have a weight belt, hat, and face max. Face mask, face mask, blah, blah, blah. storage.
I was about a jacket back here, but it's been hot, so I haven't really got in it. And uh, here's my dirty old Honda hat. Here's my great little Matco hat. That's right, folks. I got a Matco hat with a snap-on box. But unfortunately, Matco did not offer a box, sliding top box, that has this. This is why I bought the box. But, there you go. My uh, snap-on KRSC. I think it's in gunmetal gray. But, uh, there's my toolbox tour. And, uh, somewhat of a video inventory, so, uh, yeah. Oh. There's a caliper grease. Got a brake job coming in today, so, uh, I do like brake jobs. I do a lot of brake jobs. And I haven't had a s one comeback. Not one comeback for noise. So, my combination of this, with this, uh, I'm actually getting kind of low on it. Gotta order more. But, uh, well, there you go. There's a snap-on toolbox drawer. I could give you a tour of the home act, but I've really moved a lot of that into this. I still have more room in the bottom and need to organize a bit better, but there you go. Bye.